Hi, I'm Matt Jackson working with Gym Club Solutions and today we're going to be filming a video tutorial on how to teach front uprise to straddle sit on P-bars. When teaching the front uprise to straddle sit on P-bars, the prerequisite skills that we want developed first is a good swing on P-bars, a good upper arm support position on P-bars and a good straddle sit position on P-bars. When looking at the flexibility side of the skill, again, we want a beautiful straddle sit position on the floor and also box splits would be beneficial to get that really nice extended position when the gymnast finishes the skill. Okay, once your gymnasts are comfortable with the prerequisite skills and they're consolidated, the next thing we're gonna look at is conditioning related exercises for the upper arm support to teach the front uprise to straddle sit. Obviously, we have to be careful when doing this and we have to make sure that the gymnast develops the right muscle groups so that when they do the upper arm phase of the skill, they're nice and safe and strong enough to perform the element safely. Okay, one of the first elements we're gonna look at is the actual upper arm support and holding that position for a minimum of 10 seconds. And we can do this in multiple sets when the gymnasts are ready to do that. So we might start off with one set of 10 seconds. Today I'm gonna to support the gymnast just to take a little bit of their body weight around their core. And then we can feel with the gymnast is starting to sink and we can give them a little bit more support when they're doing it. When they can do this on their own, then we can come away from supporting it and they can start to do multiple sets of this on their own. So the gymnast is gonna come into our arms for I'm just gonna support around the core just to take a little bit of the gymnast body weight so they can hold the position and find the right balance. What we don't want is relaxed. Don't want the gymnast's shoulders to sag below the bars, causing too much pressure on their collarbones. We want the gymnast to lock, engage their lat muscles, their shoulder muscles, and fix their core so they're in a good, strong support position. Okay, the next conditioning element we're gonna look at is an upper arm support shrug. Some, some people call these chicken dips because we're moving the elbows up and down to develop the muscle groups that we want when doing the support phase in a front uprise. Some people call them upper arm shrugs, some people call them upper arm dips, so whatever you like to call them is fine, but I'll show you what we're gonna do now with the gymnast so you can see. So the gymnast again will be in upper arm support and we want the gymnast to relax and then we want the gymnast to press their elbows down, again engaging the right muscle groups to strengthen their upper arm support. So I'm just lightly taking the gymnast weight to help them move up and down. Okay, the next thing we're gonna look at is a supported shrug. So the gymnast will be in support and they'll relax through their shoulders and then press down through their shoulders, shrugging up and down to make the feeling of the last part. So when they finish their front up rise, the last part will have a press down into an extended support position so the gymnast can just work on this phase whilst they're in support on the P-bars. This again can be done unsupported, it's quite easy to do, and it will just help develop this area for when they finish the skill. Okay, the next stage we're gonna look at as a conditioning exercise for the front uprise to straddle sit is to bring the floor parallettes here with a small block. It doesn't have to be this wedge, it can be any block that the gymnast can rest their feet onto. The gymnast is then gonna to go to an upper arm support position with their feet slightly raised on the block and we're gonna do shrugs in upper arm support. This is a really important stage for me for when the gymnasts start to do the entry point for their front uprise so that they don't drop through the bars, again, causing discomfort and pain in their shoulders and collarbones. We want them to be strong enough in support so they can easily achieve this position as they start learning the skill. Okay, another conditioning exercise we can use for the front uprise to straddle sit is to put the gymnast in back support on the floor rails. We again, with their feet slightly raised on a block and we get the gymnast to engage their core and their shoulder blades so they're pushing the bars down, keeping their core tight. So this is simulating the last part of the front uprise when they're pushing down to arrive up into support. Okay, moving on to our next conditioning exercise for the front uprise to straddle sit. 
This time the gymnast is gonna go into support on the P-bar, so they're gonna make a front support position, and then we're gonna get the gymnast to lower down to an upper arm support position, and then press back up to a support position. When they start to do this, again, the coach can support this slightly to make sure that they're going down safely and back up. Once they're doing this safely on their own, again, they can progress on to doing this on their own and building up multiple repetitions of this for their strength in upper arm. So I'll show with the gymnast now. The gymnast will start in front support on the P-bar, so their feet will be on the rails. What we want to see is when the gymnast lowers down, their chest stays level with the bars, their elbows will come slightly outside of the bars, simulating that uprise position. So the gymnast will lower, elbows will come out, then we're gonna press back up to support. Okay? So we're here, press, good. Okay, we're now moving on to the technical side of things. So we're gonna look at preparations for the skill. So we're gonna first start off with upper arm supported swings. Okay, so the gymnast is gonna be in upper arms, which they're gonna pass through when they do the drop down phase and the uprise phase. So it's really important that we get strong. So we've looked at conditioning this, so the gymnast should be now prepared for this. And we can start the gymnast swinging, trying to get their feet to be above the bars at the front and the back of the swing. Okay, so when we're supporting, we're taking the lower back and the legs, the legs and the chest. And then we're moving from side to side. Okay, so the next stage we're gonna look at is actually teaching the entry point to the skill. So the gymnast will start in support, doing a small swing, and then they're gonna move backwards and drop to upper arm support. So we looked at upper arm support in conditioning phases. We're now gonna swing and drop into that phase. This is why we need to be strong enough to hold that upper arm support so the entry point of the skill is correct, ready to move into the swinging phase for the front up rise. Okay, so we're now gonna to start to connect parts of the skill together. So we've looked at the entry point for the uprise. Now we're gonna look at connecting the entry point into an upper arm swing, which is gonna give us the speed to enter and exit the skill of the front uprise to straddle sit. So this part I'm gonna support again, but only briefly as they drop into the entry phase and then into the swinging phase underneath the bars. Okay, so the gymnast again will be swinging in support. When they're ready, they'll do the entry point. And then we're moving into the swings. Good. Okay, we're now gonna look at moving the gymnast from upper arm support with their feet on the rails and pushing up to straddle sit on the bars. So this would be like simulating the last phase of the skill. So again, I'm gonna support this again around the gymnast core and just help them as they press down to arrive in the straddle sit position. Then we're gonna drop back down and go back up. So again, we're gonna do multiple repetitions of this just to get the gymnast to understand pressing the bars away and finishing in the right position. So we're just gonna be behind the gymnast. Again, we're gonna support around the core here. The gymnast is gonna to lower to back support and then press up to straddle sit. Okay, so lowering and then pressing, opening the hips and pushing forwards. And then this is just giving the gymnast the understanding of when we finish the skill, this is where we want them to be. So as they finish, we want their bars to be pressed behind them and their hips to be pressed open. Okay, we're now gonna move on to swinging an upper arm into an uprise to straddle sit on the bars. So this is like hot, the second half of the skill now. So we're doing an upper arm swing, up to straddle sit on the bars, and a little bit of support just to aid the gymnast into the right positions. Okay, so I'll show the supports as the gymnast does it. So again, the gymnast will start swinging in upper arms, and on their second one, we're gonna open the hips for the gymnast, so they finish up with their hips open, 
Arms should be nice and straight, shoulders slightly leaning back over the hands, and then if we take their arm away, they should be just finished in that nice straddle sit position. Okay, so now moving on to the final stages, we're now gonna support the full skill. So the gymnast is gonna now start in support, do a swing, drop down to upper arm support, swing through upper arms, and front up rise to straddle sit on the bars. Again, I'm gonna support the skill, same places, so when the gymnast drops down to upper arms, I'll be guiding my hand on their chest and legs, just to make sure they don't collapse through the bars. And as they pass through the upper arm, swing into up rise to straddle sit, again, I'm gonna guide their back of their hips to finish in straddle sit on the bars. Now the final element is all put together. The gymnast can now try and do the full front uprise to straddle sit on their own, unsupported. Okay, thanks for watching our video tutorial today on front uprise to straddle sit on P-bars. I hope all of the stages have been really beneficial for you to look at. So we've got prerequisite skills, we've got strength and conditioning parts, we've got flexibility parts, and we've got all the technical phases and supports. So please take it all away, enjoy it, and enjoy teaching the uprise to straddle sit on P-bars.